again everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your very own Ferrero Rochers. Uh, they are my favourite chocolates and Christmas just wouldn't be the same without a box of Ferrero Rochers. Now I'm going to spread that around. There's the base. Now I'm going to get your wafer biscuits, break them up. Okay. Now roasted hazelnuts, we don't pour all of them in because we're going to chop some of them up so that they can, we're going to chop those up into little pieces. So put blobs of your chocolate spread all around. Spread this down. Now break up some more biscuits. Another layer of wafer. I used about how many of these? Six or seven of these wafer biscuits. Now we're gonna pour the remainder of the melted chocolate all over this. This is a real treat. It went down well at the neighbours last night, actually. Yep, yeah, everyone was enjoying. All right, spread that chocolate all around. Okay, now we're going to get the chopped hazelnuts that you finally chopped up. Sprinkle those all around the top. And then basically I'm going to just, see, mush that all in. Right, now I'm going to pop this into the fridge to set for about an hour. And then it will be hard and you can either serve it as your very own homemade Ferrero Rocher, giant size, or you cut it into little cubes. So that's going in the fridge. And here we have the finished product. That's hard, it's been in the fridge. Okay, now I'm gonna carefully take this out. Oh, see if I can squeeze, oh yeah, here we go. Now that is a big Ferrero Rocher. This is what we have. Your very own Ferrero Rocher. I hope you all really, really enjoy this recipe and um, let me know what you think. I love hearing from you. And just want to wish you all um, a very, very Merry Christmas to all my subscribers. And I hope you have an amazing 2012. Thank you for watching this year. Uh, so much has happened. And stay tuned for many more recipes in 2012. Mwah!